Hello and welcome, I'm Nafi42 and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and run Prusa Slicer on Chromebook with uh, Linux. Here is your Linux, uh, your, sorry, your Chromebook PC. Um, what you want to do is you want to download Prusa Slicer. So if you go to Prusa Slicer, or if you type in Prusa Slicer, Google that. Um, oh, I'm following this tutorial here, by the way. There's, there is, someone has written some stuff up about it, but I thought I'd try and save some people some time and just kind of give it a real quick uh, go ahead. I'm going to go on to here, I'm going to download the drivers and apps, and then there it says drivers and apps, it has Windows, uh, Mac, and Linux. You want to click on Linux, once it says releases, and then in here, when you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the .app image file. Now, if you download this file, what it will do is it will just download it onto your computer. Now, in order to get the Chromebook to run this correctly, you need to first go into settings, you can go down to Linux Beta, and then you just need to like enable it here. It will say something like enable Linux Beta or something like that, or do you want to allow Linux Beta to be used? And then once that's done, you'll now be able to use the uh, Linux stuff, and you'll have this Linux folder here, where it says Linux files. Download the app image file into here, and probably rename it something just like, here we go, Slicer.app image. Once that's downloaded, what you need to do is uh, actually fairly simple. Uh, so I actually do have it already open here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to launch. What the hell was that? Forge Vampires. You go to launch. You go down to Linux apps. And then there's terminal in here. Um, there's a couple of different ones as well, actually. A X term and U UX term. I don't know what the difference is, so just click on normal terminal. Now, to make sure that you can run it, you want to do, uh, I don't know if you've ever used Linux before, but sudo, uh, just so you have the proper privileges and stuff, apt get install fuse. Enter. And then what this will do is it will download fuse for your computer and make sure it's installed. Uh, you can also do, if that doesn't, if that's not working properly, you can do apt get, apt get update. Uh, just to make sure that everything else is up to date. Um, but yeah, well, once that has been done, you just need to type in chmod a plus x and then prusa slicer dot app image. Now, uh, the case is very important in this one, actually. You do need to make sure that you type in the correct casing for it. Uh, and then, then after that, you just want to do dot uh, forward slash prusa slicer dot app image enter and obviously i put the l in there instead god damn but once that's done you press enter and now we have prusa slicer open on a chromebook now that's pretty good and you know uh maybe there's a couple of little issues graphically but other than that it's, it does seem to run fairly well. Oh, by the way, sorry if it sounds a bit bad. I am recording this all through my Chromebook. Um, and yeah, so this is the sound of the Chromebook as well. There we go. If you need to know, <laughs> I had to Google loads of different stuff on here on how to use app image. I'll put a link to this uh, this uh, forum post in the description below. If you need, when you want to re uh, name the files, press control and enter, control, enter. Uh, and that will allow you to rename the files. It, it took me a surprisingly amount, long amount of time in order to find out how to do that. If you want to go to the place to change the files, you need to go here. And then I've it will just be an application in here, actually. So I just did it under files. And then you go Linux files. And then prove the slicer, control, enter. There you go. And that's how you do it. But say we want to print one of these, a Labyrinth gift box. How cool is that? Um, I'm not going to do the print today, but I will show you how to get something into Slice just quick, real quickly. So we download this file, and you get a zip file. Now, can this laptop open a zip file? Well, we're about to find out. And, I mean, spoiler alert, the answer is definitely yes. Double-click Labyrinth gift box. You're straight in. There we go. <laughs> it's very easy, actually. And then from here, you can just drag, select these two, and you can copy them. And then you can go back to Linux files, and then just Control-V, 
and paste it. And there we go. There they are now. We'll just miss that. That is how easy it can actually be. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, and also on here, it doesn't really like dragging files into it. Yeah, no, it didn't like dragging files into it. Uh, I mean, it might actually work. I've never, tr I didn't try it properly last time. So let's try it. We'll drag lid into here. See if that works. <laughs> Bottom. No, it doesn't like that. So what you gotta do is you gotta press this little thing up here, and then you just gotta go to. Uh, Oh, yeah, here we go. Lid. And then it will just import it in. And now we have a lid in here for this thing. How cool is that? It has all the file, all the defaults in there and stuff for the Prusa, uh, Prusa stuff. So you can just press slice. And now you have sliced it. Um, you can save that. You can export that to G code. Save it in here as I did already. And then you can obviously open up your uh, Octo print. Then you can obviously open up your uh, your Octo print. You can drag it on here, and then you can print it off. And there we go. You don't even have to load up a normal computer anymore. This is a very uh, low powered alternative for that, I believe, uh, because I mean the battery life on this is really incredible. I don't know if I've done the uh, a video on this already, but I probably should. Uh, it's going to be one hour twenty until full. The battery that is, uh, and it's done twenty nine percent. But, you know, I've not charged this in about a week, and I use it maybe uh, every other day at the moment, which is really cool. <laughs> and my my little uh, notification is telling me that I need to hurry up this recording. So don't forget to subscribe. Let me know think problems with us at me for two, and I'll see you next time.